Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Oak Hill today. Uh, we've got still got more planting to do. We should get the soybeans in. Uh, we also should get the potatoes started as well. So what we're going to be doing first off is we're going to be switching out this. Uh, this is, of course, our 7615. Uh, we're going to be putting this on to the cedar because uh, we need our uh, tractor. We need this tractor here. Uh, this is going to go up to the shop. Oh, we attach the cedar. I don't want to attach the cedar. I want to detach that. There we go. And get this out of the way. Uh, because we need to take our flatbeds up to the shop uh, and go and pick up some seed potatoes as well as a uh, something to put them into. Uh, we need a potato seeder as well. So we're going to rent that today uh, too. And hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have all of the soybeans in the ground. And uh, we will only... Uh, and maybe half of the potatoes, uh, which would be good. Right, that's all connected up. Uh, now this has canola in it, so we need to open it up and empty those out a lot of musical tractors this morning uh, so let's start this up drop this down uh, and we're going to need to take these forks with us as well so we've only got one set of forks uh, but we can put them on uh, our other tractor as well although 135 here massively useful around the yard but uh, no good as we've discovered before with our flatbed trailer Let's get this in the right place. And in and up. Oh. There we are. So the thing I love about these seed pallets is the ability to reload them into a single pallet like this. Just hold it over the top and uh, and, re uh, and it just restacks them, which is brilliant. And I think there should be... Yeah. One pallet's worth of stuff here. Uh, we want to load up the... Uh, there we go. Uh, the soybean seeds onto the trailer. I'm amazed at how few canola seeds we've used. I mean, that is just an incredibly low amount. Compared to how much rye we used over two fields, uh, that is just amazing. Uh, seed potatoes I'm expecting to use more of. Uh, but we will see. There we go. So that's on those onto there. And it gets us in the perfect position to grab our soybeans and put those over to our cedar and get that started. Mid spring day five is uh, is pretty good. I'm I'm very, very pleased that we're at this point. Um, I think we're okay for putting soybeans in at this point. We will just double check that. So let's go here and refill. But yeah, both soybeans and potatoes should be good at this time of year. Uh, no, they're not. So we are not going to be going doing that. We're going to be uh, using the other bit. Um, it is, I thought we were on track for soybeans today. We're not, we are on track for potatoes. So let's put these out the way over here. And what we're going to do is, uh, is get this tractor doing what it was doing last time. We have one more for or get uh, this tractor doing what this piece of implement was doing last time. So turn this off. And we'll disengage the rear section of this so that we can go and get this on course play, course generation. Field 62, uh, current vehicle position, we want, as always, three headlands, clockwise, up, downs, first, turn in the headlands, and generate me a course. There we go, and starting from the same corner as we're ending. I, d I tried to, to get this to do this now, and uh, see if I can start and end in roughly the same place. Uh, it seems to work a lot of the time. 
Drive course and away it goes. And now this could have gone flying. We're going to see if we can sell these sunflowers because we no longer have a use for these. Uh, the other thing I need to do is give myself my front forks. So let's drop uh, the forks off here. And then this can go back in the shed. Attach all of this. We're going to have to detach the front weight because while we will be taking the front weight with us uh, to, off, uh, to offset the weight of this trailer, uh, we need to get the uh, front loader on first and then we can uh, and then we can put the front weight on. Mucking about uh, moving stuff between our tractor and uh, and bits to get this set up. We have our forks on the front. We can now get our front weight on underneath that, like so, and hook it up. Lift it, and finally hook this back up. And with all that done, away we go up to the shop. And with our trailer up to the shop, we can just drop it down, unload it, or undo it, and we'll unload this off the front. We get a switch again. Weight off the front three point. That way we can balance out the back of this. And it's, yeah, you see that it, it, you get everything up at the farm, and you unload it all up here, and uh, and you hope this is going to work. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to leave these sunflowers uh, or these sunflower seeds up here because we have no need for them. Uh, they can just sit in the shed at the shop. Uh, ready for them to be sold to somebody else uh, but yeah sunflowers are not something we need as we discussed last time we got we got 10 fields and we were trying to do six crops uh much better to do uh five crops in a six point rotation and get it to work that way so will these go into the sale area and be sold i don't think they're listed in our other bits so yeah it's gonna be interesting that's ah. sometimes getting stuff off forks is difficult all right there they go they're off let's see if that will sell no they won't so i think those are gonna have to we can't sell them another way, can we? No, there is nothing. Yeah, I can get rid of uh, the shop selling point, but I can't get rid of these. We're going to leave these here then. Uh, where is the... What do you got in here? Do you have a store in here? Not really. So we'll leave them in this shed over here then. I would guess. Yeah, they've got seeds and stores and stuff here. So these can go in this shed. Out the way and unthought of. Uh, but we can't get our money back, unfortunately. So that up. And into here and out of the way. With that done, we turn to look at the potatoes and we've got, this is our first bit of kit. This is the Grimmer GL420. This is what we're going to use to plant our potatoes. It's actually a base game planter, um, but it is three meters in width, like most of the rest of our equipment. And uh, the reason for going for this, because this is the standard in-game one, is that it's just a little bit bigger than its counterpart. Uh, in the DLC. The DLC ones uh, are 1.5 meters, both of them. So they're a little bit, well, they're half the width. 
so uh this standard gl 420 should do us perfectly uh, 150 horsepower we have 160 on this tractor so that should be perfect uh it has capacity of 200 uh, 2740 liters so let's lease this uh it's gonna cost us 210 pound a day and then to go with that we need a pallet of seed potatoes so these again are in the realistic cedar uh 2100 liters so i think we're probably gonna want four in total uh and what we'll do is we'll take three yeah we'll get four we'll load up our cedar here at the shop we'll put it all on our trailer and uh, and then we'll take it all back so uh let's buy four of these and we do have to unfortunately buy these three and four and we're down to seventy seven thousand. there we go so we have four of these and our cedar perfect and that means that we now need to drop off uh the weight on the back of here in order to get the cedar onto it and i knew we were going to be doing a lot of dropping the weight off and uh, and moving stuff about uh, but this should work pretty well together we have already uh cultivated the fields that we're going to be putting or cultivated or plowed the fields we're going to be putting these into so that's good news right and then fill her up and you can see it's telling me there exactly how much i don't know what mod that is that's telling me how much is in that that's that must be an update to the realistic cedar that's pretty good oh no that is the bulk fill mod is what that is that is absolutely brilliant it's the first time that i've seen that in action so that will refill off as many items as you have within range of this. So you can see one, two, three. So they've now got into range. That's really, really cool. I like that a lot. And our second one there, yeah, not too much filled off that. So we'll go put this. Whoa, look at that. So now we need the weight on the front. That is really hefty. So we've got the weight on the front of this. Possibly offset with another potato uh, box if we need to. But that is just a crazy weight uh, that this has on the, uh, on the back once you've got it fully loaded. So let's try this, see if this weight is big enough. Because I think we have got a bigger weight up at the farm. Yeah, look at that. That is absolutely mad how much this is, uh, this is pushing that down at the back. And hopefully we can get this onto the back of this. And this is the advantage of having this, this flatbed. It actually makes it fairly easy to get bits of kit like this onto it and there we go and you put that sideways onto there and then we've got space for our three potato boxes on the front so now we drop off the front weight like that and it gets a bit insane so we're going to load these three potato boxes on the front and then we'll head back to our farm. Last potato box up on the top. Let's just drop this down here. And there we go. Off that goes. Again, we want to drop the weight off the back because we need three points. So this up and folded. Yeah, wow. This is it's just so much maneuvering to get this weight where we need it to get to get back to our farm. But 
that is all working fine and already our 7615 has finished that other field we might get something else done today or we're just gonna have a tractor doing nothing alternatively i could get it to do a field that it doesn't need to do uh, but we'll have a look and see where we are when we get back my biggest worry now is we've got this picked up and those wheels have once again disappeared into the ground are we gonna send our oh boy are we gonna send everything flying no we're not thankfully so uh yeah let's get this back to the farm and sort out our other tractor safely back to the farm our cedar has just about stayed on which is good news let's drop this all down first thing we'll do is we will take off the cedar because we've got the weight on the front so that makes sense whoa not sure what <laughs> unloaded into what then but something did uh we are gonna go and i think one of those seed pallets must have unloaded into the other by the looks of things the lower one yeah refilled the upper one which is uh which is quite funny let's back up onto this and get this turn uh disconnected up lift it yeah we're gonna need bigger weight on the front of this but that's all right because i think we have a bigger weight kicking around our farm but we'll drop this off in here for now and i'm getting to the point where i'm i'm sort of running out of space a little bit in here which is nuts because it's a fairly large area and we'll go and sort out our 7615 So this is finished. Let's turn it off. Uh, lose that course. Lift it up. Oh, no, it was lifted up. There we go. Uh, and that has left some really weird stripes in the middle of the field. I think the weight must not have been quite... Uh, or the width must not have been quite right. So uh, we'll just go through the middle of this and get rid of these. We've got the time. That's the thing. Today, we have the time to get these things done. Uh, I want to look at, next time, getting the potatoes finished, but also uh, being in the, uh, a position where we can do the grass work. So if we can get it, I mean, it's still, we've still got half the day left. I want to get one of the potato fields in. Um, if I can do that, we can get the other one in next time and probably get some grass cut. Uh, the aim with the grass is for it to be a separate thing after we've done all of our other jobs. So getting this farm ready and done uh, very much at the moment is the main thing. We can put the soybeans in with the seed that we have at the moment. So that's good. Uh, we will need a new cedar in order to put the corn in. So that's my plan is that basically the first day of late spring, so day seven, we are going to be doing, uh, we're going to be doing those two things at the same time. That should leave day eight and day nine uh, to get fertilizer on these fields. So we'll, we'll get some fertilizing uh, with the uh, 66 14 uh, we'll get that doing that and then our 76 15 that we're in at the moment uh, that we will do the work with the uh, with the work with the grass and 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 get that done and hopefully we will still have 23,000 kicking about at that point to go and buy the BGA if we don't then it's uh, very simple we will uh, we will have to borrow a little bit more money and get that bga bought but that should then give us enough uh money ongoing to offset things like our loan and our leased equipment 
by just having a day where we've got those three grass fields that all get done like that so this field is now just about finished which is good news with that job done yeah this is a much that was our big weight that we've got in front of that other tractor so we're going to use the uh, 6614 to start the potatoes see if we can get this field done up here uh, turn off this uh, and then yeah if it's just potatoes today and next time uh, then that'd be good alternative we we may end up doing the grass slightly earlier if we uh, if we find ourselves with a day in hand won't hurt really I don't think so let's uh, hook this up like that and then we can close it lift it and back it off so that it's nicely out the way for us over here Meanwhile, back into here, we can now pull away from this. We want to switch our weight over to the back and get our seed potatoes into the shed. So lower that front weight and drop it off. So again with the uh, musical weights. We're doing a lot of musical stuff. Musical tractors, musical weights. Uh, it's all... <laughs> It's all just moving things about so that we can get the optimum set up. One thing that might be worth doing uh, with this is putting uh, rear weights on or, or weights on the rear wheels. If we're doing a lot of maneuvering about like this and things like that, then uh, then that might be a wise thing to do. It's not going to help with uh, the cedar, which is really, really heavy uh, but it should help otherwise so let's get this under here and take that one off which is what's holding them in place yeah and this one is now full in fact no, that one has just tried to empty into the lower one so we'll just we will just do that even those up there we go and this is down to 69% from the seed potatoes actually I want to put this one on last so we'll just put this here for now and uh, I'll get the other two emptied I'm actually going to find this easier with the other tractor the other little tractor so what we're going to do is we're going to drop off again we're going with the musical stuff we're going to drop off that uh, we'll lose our front loader on this tractor because we don't need that at the moment either. So, down with that and off it comes. And then we can lower the back weight, drop that off. And that means we can get this onto the potato planter now and sorted. And we are into the afternoon, so getting this field done is not going to be a quick job there we go load this up and away we go there we are right so this on to our potato planter we'll get our little massey out here unloading the other bits so back this up there we are and up And then, this over here. So which two fields am I targeting for this? Field 63, definitely. Uh, and I think we might go with 76 as well. Uh, they are two good fields. We can either go for uh, 62 and 63 or 76 and 63. Either field works for us uh, it's a case of whether I want to keep the potatoes close and I, I think two decent sized fields of potatoes 
are gonna be uh, gonna be useful for us so yeah we're gonna try and keep them fairly close now the reason why I've switched tractors uh, is because this little tractor is a lot less wide and so getting stuff into this corner here I found very difficult with our 6610 our 66 uh, 14 sorry so getting this over here was a lot easier there we are we'll push that up and then we'll get the front one so it just makes a little bit more sense to get this uh, to use this for stacking stuff we can get right up to the, the corners uh, get things absolutely in the right position and uh, and keep things nice neat and tidy around our yard so that down and in there and that is done so we'll leave this here like so and this can now go out to the field and we will get this started with the potatoes uh, which would be brilliant so up to the edge here and I'm gonna do these I'm gonna do these probably a little bit differently see if we can uh, see if we can keep this normal now what angle am I at if I can get this so that I am at a good angle maybe 60 degrees maybe something that's straight as far as this is concerned start it up drop it down we have got our GPS so let's set that oh there we go and away we go with some nice straight potato lines set our second point that and we're on and wow this is struggling up this hill a little bit but otherwise seems to be okay hopefully this won't be too bad and yeah this field does pull across a little bit up here taken us a couple of in-game hours but we're nearly halfway through field 63 i think we're gonna have to get a chainsaw and cut back some of those uh, branches there because they're a long way into the field the actual uh, tree isn't um, but uh, yeah the, the branches themselves are coming quite away into the field looking at it it looks like we might actually not be able to uh, to go too far there I think when we were plowing we had trouble uh, and ended up having to, to come into the field a bit I, in fact I'm fairly sure I can see uh, previous crop on the ground there so that is going to be fun i've got no uh, headland at this end of the field because we don't need it we've got enough space to turn around in the yard uh each end um we uh do have headland at the far end and uh, and i'll show you that in a minute um but this is uh because we've not got any irrigation going on here i'm not going to leave an irrigation track uh, around the field we're just we're gonna do it a little bit more traditionally um, with uh, headland at the far end uh, headland down in this bit here because we're gonna uh, to get into this part of the field we'll enter at that bottom corner there will make more sense uh, we will have to leave a little bit of space uh, I'm gonna have to yeah I suppose we're gonna have to leave some sort of space at the end of the row here uh, in order to actually be able to turn at the end of the road row with a uh, with a sprayer otherwise we're turning over the potato uh, ridges which i don't want to do so yeah we are gonna have, we're still gonna have to leave um some uh, some space at the end here otherwise we're just gonna damage potatoes all the time uh, as we come through and uh, and do our uh, fertilizing and things so yeah doesn't make sense to um to not leave that space actually uh 
at that headland on this headland here it uh, it makes a little bit more sense uh, because as i said we can turn outside of the field so we get more planted by not leaving a headland at the far end uh, looking at this i don't think we can go any further here though so i'm only going to go up to the edge of the field here that tree absolutely is in the way and we're not going to be able to do much until we cut that back right and then uh we want to leave some headland here by the looks of things so back onto track here let's line ourselves up yeah there we go and then we can get headland going into here like so that means that we are uh we're better off and this should uh, this should work so yeah not too much to do left on this field it is 20 past four now uh, i think that we should get this done today uh, and with these potatoes in we just have one more field of potatoes and then it's just the soybean soybeans and the maize left to do getting to the end of the main part of the field we now need to deal with these uh with these headlands i'm gonna leave some square bits at the corners for giving a uh, turnaround for my tractor so i know roughly how much space my tractor and this tractor is mainly going to be doing these uh roughly how much space this tractor takes uh to turn so if we come up to yeah about there should do it uh, and then put in a row here going up this hill we should get sort of two to three rows uh, in in these headlands uh, which should be fairly good and then I want to stop it about here so make this as uh, square as possible but you can see we've got just enough t space to turn the tractor around in that so we'll do that again and um, that's because this tractor is going to be doing the spraying and the solid fertilizing on these fields so we know that we need to give it that much space in order to turn and uh, and and get round for the next bit and so again that up to there and we're leaving a little bit extra space at this end because uh this is the point at which we come into the field as well in fact do we want to that actually there is going to be enough space so uh do the same here we've got uh, quite a bit of space here we're gonna reset this give ourselves space to go down the edge of the field basically so go in here that should work fairly well give ourselves a single track going through there um, probably don't actually need to uh, looking at it we, we're really after just turning space uh, but uh, kind of makes sense I think to do that Maybe we won't. Maybe I will actually fill in that uh, that row there um, because I yeah I don't think we massively need it. What we do need is a good area to turn around down here. So again, uh, we know roughly what we need. Put that in there and head down this headland get this to do we've only got four percent left so i'm gonna have to go and get some more i was hoping to only take two crates to do this uh, but it looks like it's gonna take slightly more than that um, because of what we've got left on the headland do we have we don't have enough to to get back on this headland i think so uh yeah stop there lift and you can see that gives us just enough turning circle to get back. And then, yeah, we've left we've left sort of three and a half rows at the end here, which is the useful thing about doing uh, three meter headlands, is that it, it or, or uh, nine meter headlands, 
especially with potatoes we know that we can get that far and we're out so let's go refill this and then we can uh, we can get it finished not going to need very much to refill this though I've only refilled about 30% uh, we are going to get this bit filled in here as I said I think we're uh, I think we're able to go across because we're not we're not running up and down this field very much not trying to do irrigation and stuff we can we can close up this row here uh, with no need to turn down it or anything like that so uh, it's really at the headland ends we need to leave uh, this row that we can drive on uh, and the square in the corner that we can turn around in so there we go that's got that done and then we can go and complete this row here and it's beginning to get dark it is 10 to 8 in the evening so it's been the 13 hour day on the farm that is uh, yeah quite a considerable uh, amount of time but getting this first field in makes it all worth it um we yeah there's no way we could have got both fields in today that's not a problem we'll get the other field in next game day um, and start getting set up for the last one uh, we do of course need to be careful because of the way that we're planting the potatoes they do need to be done in a very specific way and we are going to have yeah we've got a, a row at the end here because this field gets a little bit wider so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set my gps again put myself uh, to this place just fill in this little bit and then we'll reverse up and get that last little bit done uh, so that this field is complete so fill this in like so that will do and then last little bit here Down. and there we go that is our last rope yeah 30 percent was overkill for this just needed 10 percent of it to do it so what that's 270 liters ish that we needed not bad at all and we're done there we go right there we are our potatoes are all planted uh let's get this back to the farm uh but that is uh that is it for the day uh we are moving ahead nicely on here nine day seasons is making it possible for us to get everything done uh but i need to put everything away i oh, will just we're gonna park our tractors in the shed tonight uh, the other tractor actually the other two tracks can go in the other shed this one we're gonna want to refill come the morning so i'm gonna leave this here which means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye